right, yes, we're back, Citizens Forum, Debrick Show, Rock City 101.9 FM in the city of Africa. Yes, 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 and yes, we are the voice of the people, and that's what we'll be doing this morning, speaking on your behalf and also permitting you to speak, say it, um, as it has to do with you this morning. Daily Ayodo, it's my name. Well, at a point in time, it's almost becoming a tradition when the year is ending. The Christmas time festival is coming, uh, becoming a tradition for Nigerians, motorists, travelers to go into the pain, difficulty of getting fuel to move their vehicles. This period, really, uh, there is a high increase of travel movement across the six regions really and we need fuel that's one main thing we depend on in the on in this country for our movement and then it's becoming the tradition that we begin to hear the story or we begin to feel the fear of a fuel increase or just to say it as we have it today scarcity of fuel some people say panic buying and there is sometimes panic selling as uh, some of this presentation in anticipation of an increase begin to hurt their fuels i'm not saying that's what we have um, right now but the fact is that there is scarcity of fuel around us in the state and some major cities in the country we are report this one that is easing in somewhere in abuja uh, but here in the state we want to find out only yesterday we got the reports from some part of the state that these fuel stations are now selling for as high as 170 simply because that's the point in which you can get it many of the petrol stations as we speak in the state capital have no fuel and people are queuing we have our reporters around town they will give us on the spot situation reports all of them are there at the various points and of course we also let you tell us the way it is we also try and get uh, the department that has been mandated in actual fact the gmd npc told them if you get to any fuel station and you discover that they are selling or selling above the normal price or hoarding those called motorists and dispense the fuel to everybody free of charge and after that you seal up the petrol station and find them that's the advantage so we'll try and get the dpr in the city a lot of people have said that department here in the that's very inactive uh well i don't know inactive but just recently they visited the nmpc mega station one station that a lot of people are also accused of sharp practice in terms of selling uh, of the products kerosene fuel as we, speak, as we speak, they have fuel, I've uh, had reports that they are about the only one and there are four others who are selling fuel along that 9 kilometer Abiola Way uh, area of the state. So, like I said, we got reports from you, from our report. I mean, quickly, let me just uh, remind you of some um, history or facts about fuel price increase in Nigeria. It has happened between 1973, which was the first time, and last year, 2016, uh, the last time, it has happened 23 times. So people say it's 25 times. I say 23 because 23 times they were moved upward, and two times, twice, they were moved downward, they were reversed. So only twice have you ever had fuel reduced in the country. We've had it increased 23 times the only two governments or administration or leader that have done that remains Sani abacha and musa yaragra they are the only two head of state that have reduced the price of a fuel increase in the country and i also say to you uh, interestingly all previous governments from gawan 1973 till date have increased fuel <laughs> yes it's not just one of them. All of them, including Chonekon, who spent just less than three months or they are about uh, in office, they all increased fuel. Don't worry about the margin of the increase, but the fact is that they all increased uh, fuel. Quickly, let me just run down. Uh, maybe it will interest you the number of times they've done that. Gawan did it just once, Muritala two once, or Basanjo 
Well, some say, uh, I think it's the longest serving or the longest person that has served in that position. So, we want to say he did it eight times. One, once as a military head of state and seven times as a, a civilian president. Eight times, uh, over some job. Uh, did the Chagari, yes, once. IBB, four times. Of course, I think that's the second uh, person, longest ruler in the country. So you may also want to pardon him for, for doing it four times. Um, that's the uh, IBB. And yes, Shonekon, once, did it once. Um, Abasha, uh, well, I say twice, but the third time was the reversal downward. So that's the first time we ever had the uh, fuel moved downward in the council so he did twice of so if you want to say uh, three times for abacha abu salam yes once uh, and from abu salam Abbasadol, like i said i've mentioned the uh, soon yaradua once gj good luck every jonathan did it thrice three times and the present administration of muhammad Ubari has only done it once. The last time was to move it from uh, 87, 87 to the present price of 145. Another interesting um, fact about fuel price movement is that uh, at the point in time during the IBB regime, there, there was what we call disparity in fuel dispensation. There is a different price for commercial motorists, which was lower than that of the private uh, buyers in the country. So they were selling differently if a private car owner operating privately, the price is higher than uh, the commercial price. All this to confirm the very importance of this commodity in our nationhood. Well, um, those are the facts there for you to go to. So it's not a question of a particular administration, a particular political party. Again, all the administrators since 1973, including the one who spent just about three months, did increase the price of fuel in the country. All right, as I await uh, reporters, uh, reports from wherever they are, they will be telling us exactly what the situation is and where they have uh, visited. Okay, I think I have somebody. Hello. Hello. All right, Fatai Shobande, good morning. Good morning. All right, your report. All uh, right. Uh Right from the Ashiro Aziz of the state of the state capital in here in Abelkuta down to NMPC uh, mega station at Abelkuta uh, Way, on the, quite a number of filling stations are not dispensing the product, except for few ones, at least four of them, including one major. Some of them. Uh, independent marketers mm. It's only in NFTC mega station you have a uh, quite a, a long queue. Uh, yeah. Then the other filling station who are dispensing the product, quite a few uh, motorists are uh, noticed as at eight thirty a.m. this morning. So, obviously, um, the number of uh, stations that are not selling are still more than the ones that are selling. Obviously, obviously. Okay, for the ones that are selling, even though I don't expect this to happen within the state capital, I already have reports that it's happening elsewhere. We'll get to other parts. Um, did you notice if there is any of them selling above the price? Well, uh, the one I noticed are selling uh, at the regulated price the of one forty five naira. Okay, okay, thank you for time. If you have an update, uh, you can also let us. Okay, that's the information is given us right from Machiro, as he said, from North Georgia. And that is about nine kilometers stretch of a road, and it has about uh, 10, 13 fuel stations along that route. And it just told us that only four uh, is selling, including the NMPC mega station. What then is the cause of this present uh, scarcity? Well, um, different reason. Okay, let's take this call. Good morning. All right, you can call again. You can call again. Uh, do we have somebody? Okay, I was going to tell you what. Uh, hello, yes, we have a reporter. Good morning. Hello, Dele. Good morning. Okay, share your morning. Uh, 
I'm trying to monitor some of the filling station around that big there, Unipolobo, Manchester. I will be level down to NMP3. Um, for my big bear, there's a particular place called Paco. The only one uh, in the factory filling station that is selling. From that, I see it's up to Manchester. Uh, Even the main car, independent market that I was selling before, I stop by that is the water. To uh, NMPP mega station, uh, mega station selling, but they are still there. Mm -hmm. And that's not a friend, just one who was only this uh, well, as a well, park, uh, go back to area where I can find only uh, one that is selling. And even to surprise everybody, just one, uh, just one uh, very good that is in front of us now. At that, uh, so, I don't go area. Okay, so okay. My my other question is the price. Um, yeah, they are not. They are not selling above the price. Okay, they are not, not selling above the price. Okay. Have Have you also noticed if there is any movement of the Department of Petroleum Resources um, uh, within I'm not this? Well, I've not noticed anything. Anything of course, I will get that first. All right. Okay. Just to um, repeat what you said from Adigbe. Uh, straight to Kolobo. Oh, only uh, one station. No, none of them is selling. And from there to Kobakwe, here we now. Interesting. No. That, that's interesting, uh, Sheyi. It's those thoughts. I don't know if you know that. From Opako area, that's almost the uh, outskirts yeah, of the yeah, state capital. Is, uh, Obada, uh, 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 yes, the Obada, Obada Aziz. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, Sheyi. From that Aziz to Kobakwe, only one for station. Oh, okay. Interesting. The year is ending. It's becoming a tradition. Okay, we have another reporter. Hello. 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 Morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, uh, we have about uh, four filling stations along the Idiabasi. Hello. I can hear you. Five along, along Idiabasi. Yeah, along Idiabasi. But okay. uh, out of that four filling stations, we um, have uh, the same uh, on take another. But it's only one that is selling trade, and that is the Archimedes at the center Idiabasi. So from Idiaba down to Ajiboro, uh, to Ajiboro, only, only one fuel station. All right. Uh, we, 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 when, uh, some of the filling stations are visited along the uh, Italegui and Atto. We have about uh, eight filling stations along the Atto, Italegui, Italegui. But uh, to the surprise, only two filling stations are selling fuel now. All right, that's it. Uh, right, uh, uh, the whole time we'll report. Okay. All right, uh, we, we can make do without um, the names of those selling. Uh, thank you, the whole time. Uh, let's just keep situation report that we have two first stations selling. Um, they are not paying for this. So please, uh, we would rather just to know that only two first stations sells along the as it and then the others are not uh, selling. Okay, that's the report from Ido Taiwa along the Ajebo, Idiaba, uh, down to Akeazis of the town. We are giving us a uh, issue power. Hello? Hello? Hello, Dele? Yes, morning. Morning, uh, this is Taiwa. Uh, All right. Okay, man. Currently, I'm in front of the total police station at Adaston. And before getting to this junction, I have also been around um, some filling stations around Ashiro and at that some car wash area. Some of the filling stations are parking filling stations. Ashiro, Nipco, MIRS, Mobile, Construction. Parking is also at car wash, Commander Yebola Petroleum, and Bosa filling station and Ajake Petroleum filling station before getting to the total filling station. And uh, I must tell so you that all I'm these fuel stations are now selling. Most of the filling stations co are currently selling fuel. Okay. With very low queue. And I noticed that less than I noticed less than ten cars are already lining up to actually get fuel around.
around most of these filling stations. The ones that are now currently selling around Kawasha, um, mobile uh, filling station at Mount Jackson, Busta at, at Car Wash, and Command for Ebola Petroleum, also at Car Wash. Um, the personal uh, claim, the personnel are right at claim that uh, they don't have fuel to sell because I asked them why they are not selling. And most, most of these filling stations, virtually all of them, are selling for the pump price, the normal pump price of 1.5 Naira. Okay. Um, did you, again, I asked uh, Sheyi that question, notice uh, the movement, presence of the DPR as you go along? Okay, yeah, sorry, you, you have not seen them? No, not at all. I have not seen them. Oh, all right. I'm still trying to get in touch with our department to find out exactly what is happening. Uh, within the state capital and of course other areas outside the state capital within Ogun State uh, trying to do on the spot check. Okay, I was going to tell you uh, what they've told us is the reason for the current uh, scarcity of the product. Uh, we pick. Well, uh, first, the some of the uh, petroleum marketers are complaining as we pick is only an NPC that is actually important. You know, we are still lightly important fuel for the country so it's only an npc that is uh, important as we speak and the reason why the others particularly the ones they call the uh, moma major oil marketers association of nigeria the major ones you know them and um, why they are not uh, important is that they said um the debt incurred and which government have not paid uh, the truth is government is still subsidizing as we speak so that is getting is becoming crunchy banks are no longer ready to waive anything for them and no longer giving them loans. so government must pay the area before they go back and uh, begin to leave now um there's this crisis again between ipman and the depot owners uh, where they lived that there's a sharp product going on they prefer to sell to some group of people who will in turn sell to them becoming a third hand thing and then that one is also increasing the uh, cost the would what they call the landing cost landing cost is the price from in which they buy from the point then by which the product also gets to that station that because they have to buy through another operator that will increase it and that makes it difficult for them to sell at the federal government approved price so if they must sell at that federal government approved price uh, no, then government must stop this or government should permit them to sell beyond the approval. So they prefer not to sell at all, not to buy, and not to contravene the government's position of regulating the price. Uh, that's one reason, uh, or that's the second reason. The first is the one I said, only an NPC, it's uh, importing as we pick. And the other one is that crisis between the man and the depot. Uh, operators and of course uh, the other one that is becoming traditional is the story the rumor will just fly from somewhere and the station will come that okay let's take this report hello okay don't worry just call it again um the story will come uh anticipating that government may likely increase uh, fuel at the end of the day, I'm sure many Nigerians will not forget the January 2011 2012 uh, episode in this country. Remember that I've also said earlier on that it appears it's becoming a traditional culture. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Morning, Modinat. Good morning, it's Kenya. Oh, Kenya, all right, sorry about that. Yes, okay, thank you very much. I'm on my address. Actually, I am anyway, no, Alegbe. We have like 10 shell stations there, and as I'm speaking to you, it's only three shell stations that are selling right now. Mm, out of 10, only three shells. Out of 10, only three. And when I asked the remaining seven, they said um, they have no supply. But I talked to someone who said he doesn't want to speak on air, but that they sell most times in the afternoon. That if we need to get them, we should come around 12, 1 p.m. and we'll get them selling. And why is that so? I wouldn't know. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, did you also when notice? I few, when I asked a few station they said they are selling at one forty-five. Okay, that's the approved price. So yes, um, that means they are complying. Did you come across any DPR official, as any staff of the Department of Petroleum Resources? Hello, Chair. Yes, I 
Okay, I can hear you now. Did you see any DPR official as you go along uh, these four stations? Hello, Chair. All right, I'm still trying to see if the DPR are going uh, through some of these things to find out if why if you have a out of 13 and have only three uh, selling so we want to find out if um, they are doing something about that that's uh, what i'm trying to do i'm still trying to see if i can get uh, in touch with them as soon as we do uh, we will get into okay i was talking about why we always come into this situation of having to scrabble, scramble. Okay, we have a reporter. Okay, can okay, I tell yes, you? Yes, okay, yes, yes. Okay, I only yes, want I to... Tried speaking, I tried speaking with the manager of two of the sales stations. They said they have not been supplied. Okay, that they have not been supplied. Okay, yes, and you have, also not, you have also not seen any PR official inside. Oh. All right, thank you. Okay, we have uh, Rahul. Hello, good morning. Good morning, okay, how you doing? All right, where are you now? Okay, are you to run? And what is the situation that is that to do with the fuel, uh, scarcity of fuel? Yes, Sometimes uh, Nigerians they say, okay, that, that, that's uh, the third reason I was about uh, giving you that people in anticipation of a government increase in the fuel price will begin to hold the fuel so that by the time government announces the new price, then they will benefit uh, from this. Okay, we'll still expect uh, reports from our correspondent reporters, different uh, places across the state where they are you can also join us this morning and let's get what the situation is uh where you are uh, that's the way we do it we will do it this morning zero eight zero nine eight six eight seven three four four and zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven uh zero uh, yes numbers to call of course we also expect messages on the different social platform, uh, social media platform. Our Twitter handle is at Rock City FM. The short code is 32120, but you need to type R-O-C-K first. You leave a space, then type your message. Please, we want you to give us facts. Uh, don't come out with claims. Don't come out with falsehood. Just give us the situation report as you have seen it happen where you are uh, everybody should be concerned about it um, if the dpr are not because i'm sure they are listening or somebody is listening that will get in touch with uh, with them to inform and of course government angle they are also uh, listening um, in about 10 days time it will be eve of christmas and another one week after that it will be end of the year so uh, this tradition of uh, scrambling for fuel all the time, what can be done. So we are getting your situation report. Uh, that's uh, what we are doing this morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Billy. Thank you, sir. Yes, my name is Dr. Uncle from the Billy, I, I was getting worried that there was no fuel shortage in December. Um, I was so worried that, no, we have not got to December yet. Because that's when I know that we are getting to the end of the year. Billy, 
I was in the filling station last night to buy food. Although they were selling the one near, you say we should not mention names. No, please. Uh, those uh, selling. Name to those people. You know the black legs, the black legs who are marketers. Yes, we should know some of them, but since today we should not mention them yet. The new one that. No, if there is anyone doing the wrong thing, you can mention. Yes. So but for one, those selling, we are not advertising for them. Yeah. No, yes, there. Yeah. Those ones are selling, and I was there, and I, I found out that I enjoyed. Believe you me, those queues again. That's where you have a lot of political people discussing all sorts of things, people shunting queues and all that. I really enjoyed it last night, too. Let me tell you the truth. I enjoyed it because it was getting too boring, going to buy food without that. Then the problem is the Nigerian factor. All those things you are talking about, they are all Nigerian factors. There are some people who were so worried, marketers who were just worried they wanted something to spark up this thing. So that they can sell at exorbitant prices and make profits and all that. That is what they are going to do. That's what they are doing. All this uh, by didn't report today, they didn't do this one. How come it didn't happen in July? So they started doing this thing in August, uh, in July, August. How come December? The problem is that they expect it to make their profit. This is the time to do their Father Christmas thing and enjoy themselves. That is the human factor. And, and, and as Dr. Robolo said, we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Nigerians enjoy corruption. Let us not bring sentiment. We enjoy it. This is part uh, of corrupt practices. We enjoy it. Okay, so thank you. Continue. Be respectful of what government does. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, uh, Dr. Anka. Uh, really, it reminds me, really, uh, when there is that scarcity and many of you are there, that's where you see how uh, the so called self as clean experts in everything, analyzing government, politics. That they do not know really at the first station, and then also tempers can rise, rise, and rise to so either a freezing point, sub zero, or to a boiling point of over 100. Uh, yes, the Nigerian factor. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Morning, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, it is NLTC that is causing all these problems. How? Yes. Yeah, they, they, uh, they call the this independent, uh, I mean, German or really independent, who told us the situation that the NLTC was selling to depot, depot owners. Uh, I mean, uh, much poorer than they are selling to independent marketers. And then the price they are selling to uh, uh, these depot owners is one, 133. When they sell to independent marketers at the back, 140 or 141. So, because they couldn't get from uh, 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 NFPC, they have to go to uh, depot owners. And depot owners also increase their own price. This All is right. a very much marginal profit for them. Okay, thank you. They have to pay driver, they have to pay tankers, and not the rest. So I want to advise civil defense. Uh, uh, most of these uh, petrol stations have voice, but they wouldn't say they are hiding. So I want to call on civil defense to go out now and auction those uh, Petrolia holding. All right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Mizuda. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let's add your voice to it. Let's add your voice to it as we approach ten o'clock, which will be time for the ten o'clock uh, news. Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. This is Arelu Femi from Igonkoto. Thank you. You are not? Yes, you are not. Uh, I was at a police station this morning, and I was very surprised with what I saw. Do it has started like a week ago now. I'm telling you, at Arula, they are selling for 170 per liter. And if you are going to buy per price, 300 dera for 1.3. And I was complaining, they said that is how they are telling me, if I cannot buy it, I should leave. And nobody is there to correct this issue. How can we be helped? Thank you. 
All right, yes, sir. That's what we are doing this morning. How to get this resolved? Dr. Uncle mentioned it. Uh, you begin to really worry if you are in Nigeria when Christmas is coming and there's no fuel scarcity. We think this should stop. Uh, this to stop. Uh, we are still frantically trying to get uh, maybe get them to the studio here, the Department of Petroleum uh, Resources here in Ogun State. That's the department that is responsible for the monitoring of these first stations, whether they are selling and doing the right thing. We have you on. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Thank Daniel. you, How sir. You? Yeah, my name is Honorable Larry Gaggi. I'm calling for Petroleum for Africa. Uh, I let me hear. As I guess, they are only come from petrol station on the left. Others are not selling. Even if they are going towards the guy or whatever, I mean, those jobs is quite unfortunate. The government needs to even change their ideas too. That during festive period, they only want to hike it when the fair price it is on course for. There is no point wanting to continue to you know put Nigerians into hardship. Good morning, have a pleasant day. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. All right, thank you. So it is true that um, there is scarcity of fuel at least in the state capital and where we have it outside the state capital it is being sold beyond above the approved prices at least that's uh, what the reports we are getting is saying hello morning, morning. Uh, this is pious on the line thank you pious where as your eye reporter this morning there is one filling station there are some filling stations here in Okisha, they are called the uh, Nima Luluwa filling station. It's having this uh, foil, and it's not selling. How do you know the station has a not selling, selling? Of course, yes. It normally says maybe very early in the morning and it close up. Mm. Then there is only one filling station selling here in uh, Okefon. Jeffa, the filling station. Where is Okefon? Okefon. After Shaggy Junction. If you All right. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, again, this is not an advertorial thing. Uh, All right. no, none of them is paying for it. Then from that place down to um, uh, Agoka, all the filling stations are not telling. All right. So, uh, but for any of the first station, notice and can confirm that it's engaged in illegality. Yes, you can mention those ones. But please. It's not an advertorial thing. We are just uh, ensuring that we do what we should do. Hello? Yes, we have you. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. For this coming that coming from my to you are not. Thank you. Thank you for prompt reaction to that first capacity. In my to here, we have several filling stations. And each place centers are selling 170 naira per liter, except at Al Ramon, which is the pump price. The issue they are doing is this one will stay from 6.30 to 9, another will take off from 10 to 12, another from 1 to. They just circulate it. They have they have had a meeting that they do not sell 145. All three stations are told here, as I'm not talking. They are selling one seventy naira per liter, hmm. except a Ramon. All right, uh, interesting. Yeah, the okay. Aromat, the Akmon, the Alak, the Abbas, the Alatif, and all, all that, yeah, Arola, all, all that display station. They are selling one seventy. I was all the right. one that said the person yesterday. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A again, it's not um, an advertorial thing, it's not meant to promote anyone ahead of the other person i don't want uh, names of those that are complying um, they are doing the right thing but those that you know are doing the wrong thing are the ones we are focusing on this morning dpr i just hope they'll pick the call i'm still uh, trying to call or they can call me uh, really hello Zero eight zero nine eight six eight seven three four four and zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. Okay, good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Hello, Anima Shaw is the name calling from Abel Kuta. Thank you. I have to be uh, your all qualified reporter as well this morning. 
Uh, I know the report has been made about that the other week, but let's be sincere with ourselves. There is one particular filling station at Crown Royal under old management of Dula Temple, now under NIFCO. That station is a wonderful station. This is not advertorial. It is. I think the capacity, the station has been dispensing well at the regulated price. The GPLC, or what do you call them, as all right, uh, yes, we'll take this break. When we come back, we'll continue with the program. Stay tuned. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's what I hear from the song being played by the. Okay. Well, it's nice to know that you are still there. Rock City 101.9 FM, they break your citizens from this morning. We are on the streets trying to get the exact position, situation of that hill that's trying to become a tradition in the country where at the end of every year, somebody somewhere who want to make life difficult for us would like to make life difficult for us uh, Nigerians, so to say, by either trying to play pranks on us, increase fuel price, or uh, trying to make it scarce for us as we have it today. Uh, that's what we are looking at, the different situations I mentioned this earlier. Um, it appeared from 1973 to date, every regime in this country has well, they've done it, it, moving it upward 23 times, only twice have we ever had it come down. And that was done by the late Abasha and the late Yadra regime. Quickly, um, let me get what um, uh, Bode wants to tell us. It's somewhere within the state capital. Hello, good morning. I'm from the uh, uh, what is the station they are selling for? Are they selling it? Hello, buddy. Hello? Yes. Yes, from Adito, from Mokola, down to Eleda. What is the place they are selling for? Hello, buddy. We didn't get the last statement. They are selling it what? Okay. Uh, but that's okay. There is an issue with uh, that line from a reporter uh, somewhere around there, according to the Mokola and Gada Randa, those are areas he has visited this morning. All right, um, I was talking about having to move price up and down. Uh, yes, it's been moved up 23 times by all the governments since 1973, really, including the government that spent about three months. It also moved it of uh, 1973 it was sold for six kobo at that time and today it is 145 naira uh, many of the people around me may not understand what six kobo or how well was sold for six kobo uh, at that time but today it is 145 kobo and you still have to struggle to get it uh, that's uh, the position um, i've also been told that the dp have there's no office in Ogun here um, is the zona office based in Lagos that operates here that comes over. Yeah, so the woman in charge says she's in Lagos. Um, unfortunately, the line difficult to, uh, because she's on the move, really. But they come from Lagos to come and do their surveillance here. How often they do that? Uh, but we'll still see if you can talk to us live. Uh, on the phone, but that's the confirmation that they are not based here in in uh, open state. Okay, uh, there are speculations that the fuel price may again increase. Government has denied that really. NMPC to the GMD and the minister said they do not have such intention to increase price. But of course, uh, the situation is that NMPC, that's the government petrol station, is the only one that is importing fuel. Apparently, there will be a lot of shortfall from me. The other ones who have been assisting, that were particularly the ones they call Moman, the Major Health Marketers Association, have refused 
because of the piling up in debts owed by the federal government to them. Uh, the Ipman, who, have, who will have also assisted, says that the sharp practice going on within the depot, uh, what NMPC is doing is only to sell to those depot, and the depot will have increased uh, the price of money, and that will also have to affect the landing price, that's the price from which the petrol, the commodity, will leave the depot to the final station. And if government cannot permit them to sell higher than that, then it's better for them not to pick the fuel at all. That's the situation. So for those who do not want to sell higher, are refusing to pay. That's why we have those scarcity as we pay. But for whatever reason, that's what I think DPI should have respected. Those who are selling, at least from reports so far from the Yewa Aziz, is that they are all selling above. Uh, some are selling as high as 170. Uh, why should this be? We also think government can also weigh in. They can give us information. Yes, um, yeah, the state uh, government can also uh, do something in that regard. I'm sure they are listening. And all these other agencies mentioned are also listening to help to assist that people have a convenient, so to say, or uh, a hassle free in terms of ability to move around. Uh, Christmas period in the next 10 days, it will be eve of Christmas, and before then, people will have been moving across the different geopolitical zones in the country. All right, yes, I will pick reports from you. Please, please, and please. Um, this is not information, we are not advertising for any company. Uh, please, you can just tell us a, a, a first station is selling uh, at social area. We are not taking the names of first station. But for stations who are engaged in illegality, yes, if you are sure of that, so that government can do something about it. That's why I said I permit mentioning of those ones that you know are involved in illegality and other sharp practices. Uh, please, for those who are doing their business, the way it should be done. We are not advertising on their behalf. It's not an advertorial thing. Uh, so I won't be taking their names, please. Okay, we go back to your call 0809868734 and 0909146967. Of course, 32120, that is short code platform which you can also use. And the Twitter handle is at RockCityFM. The Facebook is also there for you to also post your comments. Hello, yes, we have somebody. Good morning. Hello, zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. DPR, you can also call us. Good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. morning. I am M. Moki from Ayeto. All right, thank you. Thank you very much for the issue on Grant. Yeah, in Ayeto is one six three one seven. So, and we have a lot of uh, feeding stations. There's only two three feeding stations at Ayeto. Now, uh, my dear brother. Why is Nigeria just a lawless place? I wonder. If government is safe, if it's free, and some people will be giving them good justice, like what is happening now, you should sell for 145, people are selling above 145, there is no body to regulate them. I think government should put in place a regulatory body. Yes, I know there are numbers to be rolled out, in which we be calling and calling and calling. For any feeling station, feeling station that is misbehaving, it, allows, it, it, it appears as if government is safe, it's actually supporting these people. Nobody has been arrested since two weeks ago when these issues have started. And we are moving towards Christmas. Is this the government Christmas bonus to everybody? I wonder. Salaries are not paid. Um, uh, uh, I'm okay. I think it would be unfair at this juncture to blame the government. I've just told you. No, I am not blaming the government. I said they should set up a regulatory body, a monitoring body. I am not blaming. We have, we have. It is the monitoring body that is not just doing the job. They already have, like I said, the Department of Petroleum. I've just told you that they do not have any office here in Ogun State. They come from Lagos. So even if it is. From Lagos, how many people have they arrested? How many people have they prosecuted? So they, they are just aiding and abetting. All right, uh, thank you. I'm okay. I have to take this report from my reporter. Hello, good morning. Hello. All right.
right, uh, but uh, yes, please continue with the report. Yeah, I said from Ndata, uh, I just heard from Nokola down to Ndata. What did you first put it from Ndata? And I said it was 125 Ndata Palita. Okay, what about the Randa Aziz, which I know you visited? So, 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 Okay, so from that laboratory yeah. down to Randa, only two fresh station cells as we speak. Yes, All right. Okay. Okay, they are they are complying along that. Yes. All right, thank you, Bodemar Alu, for your report. Okay, okay, they are complying. Uh, some places, why well, some places? Uh, like the last uh, speaker from my little said, they are doing jungle justice to their people. Whatever that means. Hello. Hello, morning. Good morning. We have you. Can we have your say? Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, concerning Ayitoro, I do say poetic area. I'm telling you, this is where Brazil sellers are hidden at the I will say, police came there, came to Allah. I arrested about three persons. Not not quite thirty minutes they were released. And this is why I'm enjoying they are just laughing. They are so security, I'm telling you. This I told it's, 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 I, I don't know what, what I don't know what is going on. Okay. I just, just know. No security, nobody to arrest them. They are just laughing, they are just playing and they are telling that this of one and seventy nine per This is how you my all right, thank you. Thank you. Do we have messages? Can we check them, please? Of course, of course. We got some tweets here. And um, starting with uh, Corey de Camille, are DPR really doing their work at all? Most of the independent marketers in Abelkuta are selling at the rate of 170 naira per liter. And um, he, he continued, he said, and if most of the fuel marketers sell at 170 naira per liter, can we really blame them? The increment has been done right from the NNPC depot. All are just words, words, words from the from Ibe Kachiku and others, but no action as far as this fuel palava is concerned. We have not felt any of their impact here. Alright, that is it for the tweets. Yeah, we've got some uh, messages via the short code uh, boss. My name is Bosse. In Ayetoro, uh, that Alak petrol station is selling for 170 naira. Oboro P from Elewera says, well, Why are we still importing fuel in this country? Why is it that refineries are not working in Nigeria? Okay, and um, that is not really relevant. Uh, this one here says, it is annoying that a country adjudged as the sixth largest oil producer um, is experiencing scarcity. The government and independent oil merchants are taking Nigerians for granted. The truth is that these marketers are fuel but are not selling. They agreed not to sell simultaneously in order to be in order to exploit. And this has become an annual ritual. Why always December? 2018 budget has been presented and fuel increase is not mentioned. God will judge Kenny additional from Ashiro sent that message. Uh, those are the ones we've got for now. All right, uh, continue to send them in. I know last year we had what I was called 12 crisis free uh, Christmas after a long time, really. I hope that will not return. Nobody should try and do it. That's what we are. Well, that's why we are trying to check these practices. But it appears it is the Yewa North Aziz that is more problematic, as we speak. Uh, several complaints of well, there. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Alaji Ayanobia Power. Thank you, sir. Now, this fuel scarcity. It's one of the reasons and part of the reason why I always ask all my other to send down the rain so that it can sweep those that are deceiving people that they are doing good for this country. 
and see them with even including with their own sweeper. So I will still continue to ask Almighty Allah to send down the rain and sweep them away. Okay. Good morning, <coughs> Nigerians. Yes, God bless uh, Obosi. God bless Nigeria. Dr. Uncom said something the other time that we need to really uh, look into. Why December all the time? Why do we have scarcity of weather in December? Why, why not in July? Why not in February? Why not in March? Why December? So th that is exactly what we are saying. That if you are blaming government so many times, we need to blame ourselves at times too. I mean, the, we commoners, we are the various level of our endeav life endeavors. We, we always like to extort our people at a very critical time. I, I think that is what is happening, human factor. Human factor is the cause of this first activity we, we have been talking about. Why are they not selling? We, we still have some, some first station who have the, this fuel we are talking about, but they are not dispensing. They are dispensing at a very strategic time. The time that DPR will not come to their first station and be investigating what they are doing. All this, I don't think, is government. It is we, the masses. It is we at, the, at this level of the divide that we are, we are causing this problem for ourselves. So it is, it is, it is. I don't want to blame government so much on this crisis, though they have their own. But I think in this issue of first country we are talking about, it is lesser. We should blame all this uh, private. Uh, what is it called? More than the, what we call uh, the, the government has done wrong. So, human factor is is one of the things, and government also to try to please. Do something. It is it is becoming a kind of a norm at the, at the December. So government should too should be proactive. Maybe in October, in uh, September, October, November, they should do the need to so that, that this will not happen. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Too. Good morning. Sir, my name is Johnson. We do part of Thank you. Uh, in my area, we have one under road. We have about two first station um, selling and are selling at the. Uh, prevailing price, one forty five naira. And the unfortunate thing is this: when the government uh, uh, was selling, or you know, when the, the the price of web was seventy five naira, that was we were having this type of experience. And this government promised us in laws that uh, we will have a better change. If we are blaming. In the marketers, we are only deceiving ourselves. The question is, there's nobody, even the marketers that are not selling now, they are only at a loss if you find out. I don't have friends in some, but I have friends that have, that have, and uh, there's nobody that will not want to sell. If you don't sell, there's no way you can even pay salary. So the question is, what is difficult in government making sure that we, we refine the, the, the forest? In, within the country and not as important. Now, we, we, the price we went from 75 to 145 or 147 before now, and the, 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 we are still experiencing this. That the government should be able to tell us emphatically at least this subsidiarity. If they are not subsidizing, what is the problem? This should, this should be a problem. That uh, the government should not be fine. But unfortunately, thing is that most press practitioners, most government officials have interest. That, that is why they get the money. They have the funding um, machinery outside the city in, in uh, Togo. And uh, they, 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 they are not even praying that uh, the, this importation should stop. So the, 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 the president should look seriously into it. Into this. All right, thank you. It's a serious problem. It's a serious problem. Thank you. Yes, it is a serious problem, particularly when it's becoming a perennial thing deliberately uh, brought forward by Nigerians on Nigerians to make things difficult for them or for us at the end of the year where everybody's expected to be moving or so many people are expected to be moving from one point to the other. All right, 0809, somebody. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, Benedict. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, this is different. It will not affect price because it's not a However, government has shown the 
better than those happening now. The way we know them as I uh, regard. So they should have prepared for this, in the list, for any or something. By now, they should have prepared the whole market. However, who can present it for us, ourselves? I mean, this is a uh, the owners. Like, uh, I used to know what it is. It's a regular thing here. It's unfortunate. And if you are even there, not in Latin America, why won't they, won't they have to have people here at all? Well, they have, they have workers here. Yeah? And then NSD, 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 so, too. So we should not allow ourselves to present all these things uh, every, every year. So the government should have done better. However, the same is on TV, Nigeria, and school. Thank you very much. Thank you, too, very much. And this is all about John. Why I think our government should be blamed? Because they have the power. And like my job, I cannot go to a, 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 a station and say, I would and demand whether they have a petrol in their, in their uh, mm. uh, uh, or not. But government agents can go there. Our government can make uh, good examples of a. Uh, if one or two petrol stations are filled up and the uh, owners are prosecuted, I know everybody, every other person will sit up. So, I have to blame our government for making their people uh, so much. Thank oh, you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I love John. People. Thank you. I am Jimo Akel. I'm calling for the better. Uh, we should all uh, realize First, what is the situation around Igbesa, Lusada? Uh, I don't know if that's where you uh, are. Let, let, let me just tell you that right now uh, I'm in Lagos. I okay. can tell you that. I mean, the, the first station in Lagos okay. is Okay. I have okay. not encountered anything. Okay. I left, I left uh, very early in the morning. But uh, I can tell you that uh, at this time of the, of, of, of the year, there's always, I mean, increase in the uh, use of fuel. Fairness, this is what I mean, what have you? However, however, the road of the past, I'm not even talking of 16, past years, about 20 years, we have neglected to maintain many of the things that have to do with oil. Talk about the storage facilities, talk about, I mean, of the pipelines. So many pipelines have been, I mean, are now in the state of this. She tells that they cannot send fuel through there. So we have to now find a way to go and then get fuel through truck, through whatever, from distances to distances. So we need to really take time and look at the way to resolve this problem. General overhauling. Government also is not coming up with the adequate information about how they are procuring this fuel. We still depend largely on importation. And I don't, see, I, I, I don't know how we are going to sustain ourselves. Important fuel, considering that we use trillions of uh, liters within weeks. We are food oil producing nation, and we are behaving like this. It is not good. And I want to go a little further by advising all citizens. We should stop I mean, playing the victims. We should stop agonizing. We can all rise up and move against government. Peacefully, though, it is done in uh, other countries. Recently, people move against the government and the Zimbabwe. Don't All right. Don't All right. Thank you, And the problem was solved. Good Thank morning. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. We'll check out. Good morning. God bless you. I'm a little bit wrong, sir. Now, in this part of this, that you have to speak up a little bit, sir. Now, I don't like a talk. If you are to do the time of campaign, you will see the governors you can for us. Going from place to place. But who do you see now? When we people, when the citizens are in problem, they are just using us as a tool. So, and uh, moreover, we, yes, we are very docile. We don't even know our rights. Like uh, Mr. Akira has said, we should all stand up and repeat all these type of things. Why is it only December? These people will begin to find a way of uh, punishing the Nigerian. It's, it's very ungodly. Thank you very much. All right, and thank you too for joining us. Uh, let's end it by checking out the messages, if there are any, in the shortcode, the Twitter handle.
yeah okay yes we have this one from um eniola on he sent it to it god will show sure provide for wisdom is required um yeah abiodun says since nnpc alone can supply daily field needs of nigerians government should please take into consideration the independent film marketers for them not to continue to use the avenue to extort nigerians enough of policy somersault by the government they should please allow stability and that is all all right and that will be it we appreciate everybody yes tomorrow we'll continue with the debate on the open day don't go anywhere stay tuned programming continues on rock city 101.9 fm daily i your is my name i say god bless you all god bless nigeria and god bless rock city mm -hmm.